number three. Diagram three shows A. Okay, so you got a vector A and C D. Okay, so this is a vector and this C D. Okay, so what the question is asking for. Express C D in terms of A. Express C D in terms of A. So we want to find the vector of C D. Okay. So because C D is parallel to A, so technically the vector should also be A, correct? It must also be A. But the coefficient is not going to be the same because the length A is different, the measurement is different. Okay. So how many times of A? So A is actually two boxes, right? So C D will be how many times of A? You got one. 2 and then another half so it's two and a half okay so that means we can say that cd is two and a half of the vector a okay so we can write cd is two and a half of a okay you can write like this or you can write in fraction as well okay it's up to you then um draw negative 4a on diagram 3 so negative 4a means what? Negative 4a means you are going you are going the same vector as a, okay, but opposite direction because it's negative. Okay, negative means opposite direction. And the coefficient is 4. That means 4 times longer than the vector a. Okay, so we have to do 4 times of vector a but opposite direction. So let's say we have, let's say I start from here. Okay, let's say I, I make it easy. Let's say we start from here. So I'm going to move four times the say, the length of A. So A is two boxes. So this is one time, two times, three times, and four times. Okay, so it's four times. So I'm going to end up here. And it has to be opposite direction. Okay, opposite direction. Okay, so I'm going to redraw this. Now. So it looks better. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four. Okay, so this is the opposite direction. So this will be negative 4a. Clear? So the CD is what again? There's now uh, 2.5, right? 2.5a. Yeah. So that's how you solve it. Question B. Diagram 4 shows the straight line AB. Okay. Given that point C lies on AB. Okay, so we got point C lies on AB. The ratio is... A C C B two one. So A C let's say C is here. Okay, let's say this is C yeah. So A to C the ratio is two. C to B the ratio is one. Okay. Find the coordinate C. So if you're finding for the coordinate C we can use the the formula. The formula is what? We want to find okay, let's say C is X and Y. Huh? So to find uh X what we can do, the formula is what? You take the x value for each of the coordinates. So let's say I take a, right? So the coordinate of the x value is 5 times the opposite. So you do opposite. You times the opposite ratio. And then you take the x value for b, you times the opposite ratio. Okay? And then you divide by the sum of both that ratio. Okay? So I'm going to do it here. It's basically the, the formula only. So 5 times 1 plus uh, negative 1 times 2 divided by, so 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, so this is the x value. So you just find out so 5 minus 2 divided by 3. Answer is 1. Okay, so that's the x value. So the c, the coordinate, x value of uh, coordinate c you have already found. Now we can do for y. So y is going to be the same thing, but the only difference is now you're using the y value. So 8 times the opposite is 1, plus negative 1, the opposite is 2, divided by 3. So you get 8 minus 2, divided by 3. So answer is 6 over 3, answer is 2. Okay, so coordinate C is 1, 